Welcome to Electra Online, and now let's talk about some monuments that are really not that well known around the world, but amazing in the structure, amazing in the art within them. In India, there's something called the Ayante Caves, and they're actually literally hacked out of the face of a mountain, solid rock mountain, that's somewhat off the, I would say, west coast of India. And there's about 30 of these caves, and of course, it's not a good representation of these caves, but the structure of the caves is such that the, the entrance are roughly 20 feet high, and the caves are maybe 40 feet deep. And towards the end of many of these caves, you will have statues of Buddha or some beautiful artwork, and the, the, the stonework inside those caves is absolutely phenomenal, especially when you think that the start of the building of the caves was around 200 BC, and they ended around 500 AD or so. So for many hundreds of years, people went there and hacked out the solid rock, these caves. For astronomy, what's so important is that two of the caves are aligned in such a way that on the summer solstice, the sun shines in its sun rays into cave 26, and at winter solstice, during the sunrise, the sun shines directly into cave 19, and each cave illuminating the statue of Buddha, which is on the back of that cave, just shining and giving that golden glow towards those two statues. It's an amazing feat. Again, is it just pure coincidence that those two caves were just perfectly aligned just by chance or was it done intentionally so that that special moment would be captured and illuminating the Buddha that was revered by the people living in India. And so again, this association with the events in astronomy, the events of winter and sol summer solstice, in this case, one of each, one that illuminated Buddha on the longest day of the year and one that illuminated Buddha on the shortest day of the year in that amazing site in India. Not that I've ever been there, but I really wish I could go there and see that for myself. Just an enormous sight. But again, notice that all over the world we find these monuments that are built in such a way to capture those special events that people would know what day it was. Because there's no other way of knowing when the longest and shortest day would occur on the earth by just unless you kept track of where the sun would rise or where the sun would set at those special days. And again, a wonderful way of noting that people were looking at the sky and noticing those special days during the year. And this is from India. Welcome to, to um, I forgot what I was going to say.